Hi, I'm Robin Wellner. I'm looking forward to teaching you the Alla Prima portraits using the Zorn palette. I'd like to help you go through and create your own color chart today. This is one that I created in the past. It actually has Cad Red Light on the top here, Cad Red Medium at the bottom. We're going to be using Cad Red Medium today and in class. You can choose to use Cad Red Light if you really want to, but we'll be preparing one with Cad Red Medium. This is just a 16 by 20 canvas, inexpensive canvas, that I just coated with a neutral gray. And if you look at the email I sent you, there, there is an attachment that has a gray scale, a value scale. If you'll print that out, that will help you create this color chart. So you'll need this when you do that. And you'll need your gray canvas or board, I don't really care which, and your four colors. Yellow, ochre, cad red medium, uh, ivory black, and titanium white. All right, I'm gonna use this. As you can see, for preparing your step down with yellow ochre and cad red medium, we won't be able to get to that darkest value. Only the combinations that include some black will we be able to get that dark. So we'll start with this value. So first we'll start with just the straight color, straight yellow ochre, which you can see is very close to that value right there. Next, we're going to match that value, so we're going to take a little bit of white. Make sure you wipe your palette knife in between so you don't contaminate your white. That looks pretty close. Lay that down. Take a little bit more white. Go for the next value. I think I got too much white, so I'm going to pull a little bit more in and even a little bit more I think I got it okay looks close there we go so that's that third value wipe my knife go ahead and get a little bit more white and go for that second to the last value. It's close. And then the last one will be more white with just a hint of yellow ochre. Now, there's your first string of colors. We're going to go ahead and do that with cad red, medium, and black. Okay, we prepared just the basic three colors with their step down. As you can see, the black is the only one where we have all six steps because it can go to that dark, darkest value. So now we're going to do combinations of the colors. So first we'll start with yellow ochre and cad red. And what I'd like you to do is do two versions, one that's more yellow ochre dominant and one that's more cad red dominant. So first we'll start with a yellow ochre dominant and it's gonna be this fifth value because that's as dark as we're gonna be able to get with those basic colors. so it's more yellow ochre dominant. Make sure you have enough of a pile here to step it down. Okay, I would call that more yellow ochre dominant. It's basically that fifth value. I'll lay that down. 
add a little bit of white. Squint that will help you see the value. Just over here so you can see it a little bit more. There we go. So there's that value, that value, a little bit more white, Not too much white. You can already see what a nice flesh tone this makes. That's good. So we got that, that, that. It's that one. And you see, basically, once we get the initial mixture made, we're just stepping it down with white. So we'll do that with this one more. And the next one we'll prepare will be the yellow ochre and cad red again, but the cad red will be dominant. So I'll go ahead and prepare that, and we'll come back to it. Okay, so now we've got just the basic colors stepped down with white. This is yellow ochre and cad red medium. Yellow ochre dominant, cad red dominant, step down. This is yellow ochre and black. Yellow ochre dominant, yellow ochre and black with black dominant. And cad red medium and black. Cad red dominant and black dominant. And you can see some of the wonderful flesh tones, these violets, this is a wonderful green that can be used in the face. Now we're going to do the three color combination. Um, and I, I would advise that you label these. So yellow, just Y-O and C-E-M or whatever so you remember until you get used to it. Okay, so now we're going to do three colors and basically that creates usually some wonderful browns and there are infinite possibilities you could create a lot of variations in between all these but we're going to do a couple more so we're going to mix all three of our basic colors except for white That looks very red dominant to me. I'm going to add a little bit more yellow ochre and a little bit more black. Basically, at this point, you're just mixing colors that you are appealing to you and you think you might use. So that's a wonderful kind of a brick red. We're going to take that and start it and step it down once again. So we're going to go ahead and do that with all three colors again. The next one will be more yellow ochre dominant and the next one will be more black dominant. And once again, step down. Okay, I've finished the color chart. Um, You'll see at the bottom, these are all of these rows are with the three colors and step down with the white. So this one is a little more red dominant. This one's a little bit more yellow dominant. And these are both relatively neutral, so they're more balanced. This one's got a little bit more yellow ochre and this one's a little bit more neutral. So that's, you could keep going. Um, and do a lot of variations in between, but this gives you a good overview. You can see there's lots of wonderful flesh tones in there. I've labeled it um, yellow ochre, 
CAD Red Medium and the combinations here. And I just wanted to show you just a couple of portraits that are done with the Zorn palette. You see they're on the gray. Just about any skin tone we can duplicate. So if you have any questions, email me or call me. And looking forward to our first class on April 3rd. Thanks.